in this video i am just uh, continuing the topic which i have covered in um, few days so uh, we have talked about the potentials for dipole systems we have talked about for potentials for uh, induced dipole systems helium argon h2 which is lenard's of potential and then for uh, ionic bonding uh, it's a uh, it, it it's a dip it depends on uh, four terms e plus uh, ionization energy of a cation electron affinity of an ion and uh, the ele electrostatic attraction between the charged molecules and a pauli repulsion term so now i i'm going to talk about the bonding in metal and metal alloys so how can we just describe uh, find out the energy between those atoms so energy basically this energy is also called force field because it depends on different parameters so just sharing the information so uh, embedded atom method uh, potentials how they work so uh, suppose just take an example of a system which contain a single type of atom so now we have to uh, place a same type of atom so what are the three like in this method uh, three uh, scalar functions which uh, is consider which we consider so first is we are placing this so it's called embedding function in some cases it is also transfer function it is also called transfer function i have read in literature so it is it is also a transfer function so it's an embedding function then what is the effect of charge density to uh, uh, um, when you are placing this atom to near to this atom and then uh, what is uh, pair wise interaction pair wise interaction means what how potential is varying so pair wise potential function can uh, depends on different different uh, further depends on different different terms and embedding function can be also depends on different different terms but in general these are three terms so uh, if i am uh, means this is the reference this is we have like in the wikipedia or other forms i means i have seen this is the term this is the uh, like equation for embedded atom method potential so now again it's a embedding function first one is embedding function then electron cloud density pair wise potential function so video is not very technical but i will try to uh, describe uh, how experimental uh, things or how uh, research uh, in research metal and metal alloys are described based on embedded atom metal potential so uh, again electron cloud density it's it's, it's also called multi body potentials because it's a Electro, it depends on electron cloud density, which is a summation term. So, s at, as it is a summation sum term, so it is a multi-body potential. It, we are just not considering the attraction between two atoms, which is in the case of Leonard Jones. That's why it's called two-body potential. So, suppose we have a single element system, so we need just three scalar functions, as I already told you: embedding function, pairwise interaction, and electron cloud contribution. Now, if we have a binary alloy, we require three type of uh, again three type of scalar functions but it counting is seven how three pair uh, three pair wise interaction suppose uh, first is a a a b b b two embedding function because we are considering two different type of uh, atoms and electron cloud of a two different types of atoms so i think um, this is the way we are describing the potential so now this is a uh, very good paper which you can read and uh, uh, this is an uh, paper is optimized interatomic potential for copper nickel alloys so first started uh, starting with the embedding energy so embedding energy is for two system which they have mentioned and now electron cloud density again for two system and if you just can consider a pair potential so pair potential energy is depends on three type of system the three systems they have considered so a good part is that the numbers we have discussed seven for two types uh, binary alloys it is the same graphs that uh, have studied in experimentally so uh, this is actually the reference you have to like think or you have to find out how we can just take it now next is suppose we have a uh, potential which is contain three types of uh, atoms or three type different types of atoms so if you see pairwise potential is 6 it is very simple if you have uh, like uh, three types of uh, uh, different uh, involving atoms so definitely we have a 
cross terms also so uh, now if we just uh, call about uh, embedding function so again we require three and the electron cloud density is three three types of electron cloud density so in total it is i think 12 functions yes this is total 12 function so this is a case of aluminium palladium manganese waste phases so this study i will pro provide the link of the paper and uh, uh, link means it means you can if you able to uh, download it then definitely please download uh, but these are not my papers so uh, very clearly these are different paper but i am just using it for educational purpose now next thing is uh, miss same type of system but not same type of like trashany system but different in type of uh, metal atom so again if you just consider there are 12 functions total 10 pairwise functions and uh, six pairwise functions and three electron density and three bedding functions so i hope you like this video and it's, it's a information type of video uh, so that you can at least have a sense of how different type of potentials are working so if you want a mathematical part of this uh, function then please like and subscribe and comment on this video and please comment that you want to uh, discuss or you want in mathematical formulations complete mathematical formation of this uh, i will try to make it uh, though i am a very not very good mathematical person but definitely i will try my best to make a good video on how they have arrived to this function uh, so i think uh, i hope you like this video please comment and subscribe thank you for watching this video